here from Amy's Planner and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, time for another setup in my Hobonichi Weeks. And um, before I do that, I wanted to, you know, it's the first week in November. So I wanted to go back over last month's challenge. That's the challenge I set up for myself. Um, so in September, so going back a month, I did the Planable Challenge. And I had so much fun, you know having to kind of use my brain and you know find a spread that's going to like suit the theme and it was really really fun I really enjoyed it um so like that was cool and I really enjoyed that and then when I looked at the October prompts the October prompts sorry um I was like uh they're all Halloween if you've been here for a while you know that I'm not a big fan of Halloween I'm not going to go into my rant, but I, I'm not a big fan. So I'm like, well, I can't do that. So I set up my own prompts. At the start of the month, I just listed four prompts and I went, these are the ones I'm going to do. So the first one was Bright Idea. And then I did Beautiful. Um, reusable sticker book only. And I've still got to fill this one out. Um, and then Girl Power. And this, I haven't used this spread yet. I try and set up two spreads at a time so that I can use them as I'm going, so I can do a bit of pre-planning if I need to, or write down something that's gonna come up. Um, and I really enjoy that. Like, I think I had, I think I've done a really good job. I had a lot of fun, like trying to like find something that fits the theme of beautiful, or trying to get things in my reusable sticker book to like work together. Um, and so I'm like, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna set up my own prompts at the start of the month. I'm just gonna put them in whatever order, I sort of just reordered them and put them in. And that's what I'm going to do for November. So first week of November is the first to the seventh. And my theme is rescue. And I'm going to explain what that means in a minute. But my theme is rescue. And then the eighth to the 14th, it's kit time. Because it's been a while since I've used a, like a proper kit. So like first week in September. And then like these aren't all proper kits. I think I used one here in July. And then I used one back in, um, in, that's not a proper kit. Like, I think this is April. Yeah. So I don't use like that many kits. So I'm like, I'm going to use a kit. I'm going to pick one from my, my, um, sticker stash and like do a traditional Hobonichi weeks setup. Um, third week, 15th to 21st, my prompt is actually going to be this sticky note, this like succulent cactus. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and when I was writing my prompts and I'm like, you know what, that needs to be the prompt. And then the last, sorry, second last week in November, 22nd to the 28th, it's going to be pretty in pink. Um, I mean, I, I use a lot of pink, but like all pink, like kind of like, where's that awesome spread gone? I loved Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Like, like this, like that was, oh, I really love this spread. This spread was awesome. So I want to do something like this. Yeah. Like pretty in pink, all different pink stickers. Um, and then my last week in November, I know November is only two days in this week. So it's the 29th of November to the 5th of December. It's going to be summer, like a full on summer spread, because then for December, for the first three weeks in December, or the first full weeks in December, I'm going to do like a huge Christmas spectacular, and then I'll do a New Year's spectacular, and then I'm at the end of the planner. So I needed to do a summer, like a summer, summer spread before I did that. Um, so yeah, November is going to be another... Amy's planner challenge for me. Um, and I'm really excited to do that. So let me explain what rescue means. So it's not rescue me, which is an awesome song or, um, Bondo rescue, which is a hilarious TV show. It's, um, to do with a quote from Marcus Aurelius that I really like. So <laughs> a bit about me. I read the Stoics, the philosophers, the Stoics. I also check my horoscope every day. Like, I live that life. It's a bit bizarre, but I really, you know, I like looking at all those different things and then making fun of myself being like, oh, yes, it's all about, you know, which which quadrant my moon is in or something. I, I actually don't know how it works. I just think it's really funny. But I also read the Stoics. So I do read philosophy and, 
you know, use my big brain as opposed to my social media brain. Anyway, um, so there's a quote from Marcus Aurelius, which is, get busy with life's purpose, toss aside empty hopes, get active in your own rescue. And yeah, I know I spelt aside wrong the first time. I'm like, what is wrong with you, Amy? If you've been around for a while, like not quite as long as the Halloween rant, but you would know that I have not particularly liked my job this year. I got a new job in February and I was really excited. And then it turned out to be not the job that I thought I was applying for. It was so much more and so complicated and I just, I couldn't get my head around it and I was really not enjoying it. Um, and I'm still not really enjoying it. It's so not the job that I thought I was applying for and all of that. So it took me up until basically this week to go, you know what, Amy, this is not the job you thought you were applying for. Suck it up. Get busy. Put your whole head into it. Put your whole heart into it. You can do amazing things and you need to just do it. So toss aside, you know, those, this is not the job I thought I was going to be. I really, you know, wanted that job and not this job. And I need to be active in actually making this the job I want it to be. So get busy with life's purpose, toss aside empty hopes, get active in your own rescue, Marcus Aurelius. So that's what this week is. This week is me, you know, celebrating this quote. I will be writing it in. So unfortunately, my handwriting is not beautiful, so it'll be fine. Um... But then to go with this idea of rescue, I pulled the sea and sail kit from Planners Anonymous from my stash. Um, so here are the stickers and I'll go through what I've got left in a minute. But here's the washi and the washi is just gorgeous. So you've got like a super skinny blue and blue with a gold ribbon or gold bow. Then you've got this um, blue, red and white striped um, anchors and hearts. And that's really cool. And then you've got like paper boats or origami boats in a restless sea and I thought they were really cool and I've used this kit a number of times so I've only got like half the kit left but I've whoops just let that go flying I've got these date covers that I'm going to use um I've got these decorative stickers and these ones and I'm going to use these as well um some birds and some whales probably not going to use this one I've got date dots um I've got some boxes and, you know, different types. I've got these stones, which I won't be using. And then I have some in the minis left. So that's kind of what I'm going with. Um, I don't 100% know how this spread is going to come together. First thing I am going to do is going to put some washi down the bottom. This, this washi is just goals. I love it. I really do. Um... It's one of my absolute favorites. I'm going to put it just over the edge so I can trim off the edge because it's a bit torn from when I was doing my sample book. Um, where's my ruler? My ruler here somewhere? Yes, there it is. You know what? I probably could have just left that edge because I am going to use my ruler on this side as well. But I just want to trim up that other side a bit. Um, yeah, because that one's got a like an uneven tear. Whereas this one, it doesn't really matter because it's right in the middle of the planner. If only I could put it down straight. Oh my gosh, I just tore it. So I fixed the washi. Yes, I tore this a little bit, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Um, and we're also going to pretend that that washi isn't crooked. So just use, use our make-believe brains. Um, I'm going to use these. I'm going to trim them so they sort of sit this way. Um, because I haven't done that in a while. Sorry, I'm leaning down to get my cutting board. Um, which is really grotty. Like, it's, I need to clean it. I need to work out how to clean it, and then I need to clean it. So these are um, 2.1... So do they make more sense in inches? No, they don't. So they are 2.1 centimetres. Um, which if I... Grab right about this and I work out where 2.1 is. It's just between the letters and the other side of the dot. So what I'm going to do is get out this and I'm not going to measure it in particular. I'm just going to go for it um, and I'm going to make sure it's straight-ish. Sorry if you're getting a good look at my hair. 
I'm gonna make sure it's straight. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, and I'm gonna do the same on this side. I'm gonna make sure it's straight. It might be slightly too wide, but that's okay. Better than to be slightly too wide than slightly not wide enough, and then they look silly. If they're slightly too wide, I can lay them a bit. So, whoops, just hit everything on the way down. They look somewhat straight. Anyway, um, here are my tweezers. So let's do Monday. Oh, I don't know if these are the right size. Oh, they do fit. Nope, they're too short. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I'll just put them in the middle. It's all right. Don't ask me how I did that. I just must have... I mean, I didn't measure at all, but I really, really didn't measure. Do I want to put washi underneath it? Is that going to be too much? Nope, that's not going to be too much. So let's just take these up. Gently, 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 gently. Gently, gently. There we go. Let's put this washi in. I mean, I know it's not supposed to be on its side, but it is for this. We're just all going to deal with it. I'm going to put it right up against the edge as well. Doesn't help that there's so many stickers in this that it's no longer like it, it curls up. But that's okay. It'll be straight enough for this like that and then let's try this again and then I can just sort of do this okay put the date dots in it's yeah I don't dislike it I, I it's a bit bold on this side so I do definitely need to write something in here I'm gonna put that quote in first um because then I can I'm gonna put it down here um, then I can work around it. So... So that looks terrible. So I'm going to I'm going to cover it with washi because <laughs> it does look awful. And I had a plan, don't worry. Don't worry. I have a plan to fix it. But yes, it does look terrible. That was awful. I don't know why I decided to do that because it would look so much better if I didn't. Um so seriously more difficult to find alphabet stickers in my stash than I thought it was going to be but these are just gold ones these are from Kazercraft this is the Banksia sticker book um which I've had for a while which is really good and you know I'm like oh yeah I've got so many sticker books that just have random letters in them and could I find one of them no ah. Uh, Uh, this is going to take a while. Let me just go through how this is going to look. Basically, I'm going to line all these up on my ruler. And then when I'm happy with the spacing, I'm just going to put them on. So let me get all the letters out and then I'll put them down. So I've now got all the letters out. and I don't know if I should put it here or here. Because it's kind of like competing. It's a different gold. So maybe if I put it like here. But then does that look silly? Ugh, I shouldn't have stuffed it up. Uh, I can't really put it, like, the golds are different, which doesn't help. So, I could put it here. I might do that. So, let's just push all these down. So, they're on the page. And then, you basically flip it up. Ah, oh, it didn't work. All right, well, I tried to fix it. It looks silly, but, oh well. I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest. I'm going to leave it because... I just am, 
it's not it's not going great <laughs> um i need to put in a sticker on the first so it's a staff free day um and then the tuesday is melbourne cup day the one good thing about living in victoria at the moment is we get a public holiday um and then I'm going to put a weekend sticker in here like that, which means I only have three days of work this week. So I'm going to put this little sailor girl to mark work hours for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so that's working um, now. Something very important is happening on Friday. Cannot remember what it is, so I'm going to put a sticker in to write on what the very important thing is. I'm going to move that weekend sticker for a second. Um, so when I remember what that very important thing is, which has completely slipped my mind, I'm going to write it down there. It's it's just not coming to me at the moment. Um, I'm going to put this blue sticker over here, like this. I'm going to use that skinny washi for a second. See, after I stuff that up, I'm like, I know how I'm going to do the rest of it. Oh, God. Sometimes I am just the worst. I'm going to do this. I'm going to move that. Line it all up. It's probably very crooked, but that is okay. Like this. And I'm just going to put it in line with that one. There we go. Cool. Ah, that's annoying me, but I'm just going to deal with it because, you know, not much else I can do. Now, what am I going to, what am I going to do? Where are those, these? I'm going to put the, this one here. Like that. Hmm. I kind of want to put the girl in, but I usually put the girl in when I do a spread like this and I don't really want to. On Monday, I'm going to clean because why not? Um, I need to do a grocery order on the Saturday. Mm, it's really cool. I like it. I could have used this girl for work hours, but I'm, I'm okay with not having done that. I'm going to put this here going to keep covering up that mistake in lots of different ways it's better it's not quite so bright now um uh, what else am i going to do i might just leave it to be honest like put this in and just walk away because it is not good <laughs> oh well oh well now is it Payday. It's a payday. I need to put money in. As in, I need to put a sticker for payday. I don't have one, so I'm going to use this one. Thursday. And then I'm going to pull a payday sticker from my stash. So, my stash is on the floor next to me because why not? Do I have a payday sticker that suits? Um, I do. I have these ones from Barney and Moon. I've had these for ages. I didn't want to use a cursive one because I haven't used, like I've used cursive font over here, but I haven't really used cursive font anywhere else. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Let me put it back in my planner and we'll see. We'll make sure that everything that needs to be there is there. All right. So it's in my planner. It's not, it's missing something. You know, when you just like, it's definitely missing something. Um, and so like, I don't think I, because I've got two days off, I need to put like a to-do list in, I think. So ugh. here's my sticker sash. I'm just going to flick straight to this section, which has like a whole lot of to-do lists. Most of them are from Behaven Designs because, you know, they're amazing. Um, part of me is like, do I use that blue? Is that blue close enough? No. It's a nice blue though. Is this blue closer? 
Yes, so this is from New Year's Party Time, which is from a while back. I'm going to link my unboxing of this one over there um, and use these blue ones for a to-do list. I'm going to use the ones that are scored, like the, sorry, the dots around the side because I want to be consistent, um, but I don't want to use like, um, I don't want to use like a big checklist. I just want to do little ones. So let's do this. Um, a couple more, I think a couple more will be enough. One more, two more, two more? I think two more. I ask you as if you can definitely answer me through the screen after I have filmed this, definitely. You'll just, you'll be able to yell at me and I'll, I'll be able to hear it, definitely. There we go, that's better. Actually, that is much better. That just feels like it ties the whole top and bottom together. I'm just gonna put that away. That's better, that's way better, actually. I'm far more happy with it now that I've put those in. Um, yes, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, even though I did stuff it up, at least, you know, I had a go. And I'm really excited. This is one of my favourite quotes. I do need to write in that it's Marcus Aurelius. I need to put, like, a quote mark around it. Um, yes, so I think it's not what I had planned, but it, hey, it looks good and I do like it and I've covered up that bit of mistake, so it looks less bad. And if only I had been able to put that underneath, but I think it all ties together really nicely. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, because, you know, I do this sort of stuff every week and I do other bits and pieces and I love to share it with you. Um... You can find me over on Instagram at, at Amy's Planner. It'd be lovely to see you over there as well. And I hope you all have a magnificent day and a lovely week. Bye.